Uh, you're back for the third installment. Well, this third shape here, we'll be looking at uh, horizontal and vertical lines. But you'll notice we also have two slope lines at the top left, top right of the shape. We don't know the distance of the lines. We don't know the angle. What we do know is the x and y distance that the line goes. So what we use for that is known as the relative coordinate system. The format for that is at x comma y. This allows you to enter points in relation to the previous point, a relative coordinate system. Let's see how it works. So let's go draw a line. And we will enter the first point using absolute coordinates, 380, comma, 40. Ortho is still on, so I can draw a horizontal line by moving the cursor in the direction, or the mouse in the direction, type in the value. Once we get up to this point, we can see it goes 25 to the right, 22 and a half up to the page. So those are x and y coordinates. So we type in at, make sure your at symbol appears, 25, 22.5, and hit return. You'll see the slope line. Go over to the right, type in 60. Again, another relative coordinate system at 35, comma, minus 15. Y is going down and C to close off the shape. To do the internal shape, you could work out, I normally start at the bottom left, you could work out where the absolute coordinate is by doing a little bit of uh, subtraction and addition. But I said, I think there's an easier way of doing it. Draw a line, but first make sure your object snap is turned on so we can connect on to the end point of a line. Oops, wrong one. Draw a line from here over this way, 20 millimeters, and up 20 millimeters, and hit return. These are construction lines. They give us a point to start drawing the internal shape. So we can go up 50, across to the right. Notice I'm not clicking anywhere, I'm just moving the mouse in the direction, and typing in the value, and hit return. 30, 20, and I can't type C this time because I didn't start at the bottom left corner of my ship. So snap onto there. Hit return. Last thing to do is to erase off those two construction lines. I'm using the window selection. 